Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini My Team Career Mode Here today for part 56 ahead of the final round before the summer break Here at a very wet spa for the first sprint race of the season as well So for the sprint then this is the grid It's Lewis Hamilton on pole alongside Carlos Sainz Then it's Lando Norris and Max Verstappen George Russell and Charles Leclerc We have P7 along alongside Valtteri Bottas, then it's Joe and Gasly, Sonoda and Esteban Ocon, Pocher and Enzo Fittipaldi, then it's Holger and our teammate Oscar Piastri, Lance Stroll and Liam Lawson, Alex Albon and Kevin Magnussen, and on the final row of the grid is Logan Sargent and Nick De Vries. So we're here on the grid then, ahead of the sprint race. It's going to be wet, you can see here, but it is meant to dry up towards the end of the race. When it get to dry tyres, you will have to wait and see. This is our qualifying lap then, only good enough for P7, not the best of laps, just couldn't find the groove. We will be starting the race stone dead last after taking some engine penalties. So this sprint is doubly important as we're racing here in Spa for the sprint race, trying to find some grip off the line. We've actually braked fairly early there and we nearly lose out as now we head down try and find the exit towards uh, Rouge we're ahead of of George Russell we've got ahead of the Red Bull as well we're all over the back of Lando Norris George trying to look to the outside there are we close enough to have a go in the car as we head down the pit on the straight we get closer and closer we're going to send it to the inside of Lando Norris we go straight on though and the chicane we keep the place we try and find the grip we're sideways though we've had a big time slapper Lando goes to the inside he's still there on the inside is he brave enough to keep it pinned at the inside we're brave enough to keep it pinned around the outside we stay ahead of Lando we really should give that place back we were miles off the track but the game doesn't know that so now we can get after Carlos Sainz for P2 on lap 3 now of the sprint race really after a shocking silver stint and a shocking race last time out at Paul Ricard we need some points here and we're going to go for it to the inside of Sainz at the chicane we are up into P2 next up the road is we are fighting in the championship sort of p2 in the championship lewis hamilton is next up can we get him for the sprint win but we didn't really have the pace carlos Sainz came back at us boom and blanchimon round the outside we keep it being Sainz on the inside that's going to go to the outside now for the bus stop chicane Sainz is ahead we're going to break later though round the outside of the second part of the bus stop chicane there was more grip out there and now Sainz though he's got a good exit one lap later and now he finds himself on the inside we chop him off he's too far back as we go deep we go deep who can get the exit we do stay ahead just of the Ferrari onto lap 5 free to go the track is drying still raining but it's drying is now we did start to put a little gap on Sainz but we're all over the road through the chicane and now Sainz finds himself alongside us now can Sainz do what Lando tried to do on us on the opening lap of the sprint he's a lot further alongside than Lando was but he's still too far back to do anything there as we head towards Puan now to the end of lap 6, Sainz all over the back of us, Lewis Hamilton is all on his own, he's disappeared up the road as we're left defending Sainz for not the first time in this spring race and it's now Sainz is coming under pressure from Lando Norris as Lando Norris goes late up the inside of us Norris has got past his former teammate Carlos Sainz we're sideways coming out of the bus stop chicane we stay ahead though off the McLaren and stay P2 but we've gone deep Lando can find a way past now on the final lap 
of the sprint race. We're side by side with Lando Norris. Lando has got us on the final lap as we head into the bus stop chicane for the final time. Lewis Hamilton has won the sprint. We're going to send it late though up the inside. We're off the track. We've gone into the side of Lando Norris. There's contact. Now it's a sprint race up to the line and we keep P2 in a dramatic end to the sprint it's a british one two three of that's seven valuable points after what happened last time out in france our teammate oscar piastri finishing down in p15 so we're both at the back for the race so let's get to it then so we're here on the grid then for the grand prix we're going to be starting stone dead last after that penalty it is meant to rain towards the end of the Grand Prix. When that will come, who knows. We're going to be starting on the softs, going to the mediums. I'm not going to make the same mistake we made last time out at Paul Car. But here we go then to the Belgium Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. We've got past the hard. We're going to go to the outside. But we're going to slam on the brakes and go to the big gap at the inside of everyone. We've gained a few places here as we exit the first corner. We need to do what we did all the way back last season in Portimao. Can we win from starting last? We'll have to wait and see. We've passed over a big chunk of the order as we head down now. We the back straight and towards the chicane we're absolutely miles away from those in front but we're going to break later try and go to the outside we're off the track like we were on the opening lap of the spring race we've got past someone there bit dodgy the Alfa Romeo down the inside of our teammate Anna McLaren and we've gained two more places on the opening lap here in Spa we are going for it we don't really have anything to lose. We've got all the way up from P22 to P12 by the end of the first lap. And make that now P11 as we get past the Alpha Tari of Dennis Holger. Next at the road is our former teammate from all the way back in Season 1, Enzo Fittipaldi. In his Alpha Romeo, then it's the two Alpines, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. As we head down now into turn one, we're going to break later, do a cutback that will straighten up the car and give us a better exit to get past the Alfa Romeo. But Enzo Fittipaldi keeps his foot in, we're side by side through a rouge, but we get the job done and we're up into the top ten after three laps here in Spa. Next up the road is the two Alpines. They're battling hard in front of us. As this is Fittipaldi, Sonoda, sorry, making a big mistake, hitting the wall and down in last place. That's a big mistake from Yuki Sonoda. I think that was in that Alfa Romeo round last time out we were here in, in Belgium. This is a replay though, into the chicane, he lights it up, corrects it, and then lights it up again and he's gone backwards into the barrier. I think he's lucky not to take off his, his right rear tyre there, but he's carrying on, so it must have been that much damage, that's a big hit though, you can see there. But now back to the racing ac action, we're on the back now of the Alpine, as we do what we did to Enzo Fittipaldi, try and break a bit later, straighten up the car and we're going to go side by side once again on Pierre Gasly through our range, it's job done. Now, we've got the job done on Ocon, now is Gasly going to come back at us, he's getting closer and closer to us, is he close enough? No he's not, we get past both the horses and we're up into P8. Now they lap 9, we were just keeping the gap behind to the Alpines, we kind of ran out of steam. We couldn't catch those in front of the Red Bull of Valtteri Bottas. Just keeping the gap behind to just over a second, just over jabbing distance to the, the Alpines. As now those on the softs, 
Mark was telling us that the rain wasn't that far away. You can see the clouds are definitely covering. So we're just going to keep going on these soft tyres till it rains or as well, it hopefully rains. It may just be in the last couple of laps. So lap 11, this is Lewis Hamilton boxing onto mediums coming out of the pits. This is Lando Norris, this is just behind us now. He beats out Lando Norris as we head through our move toward the chicane. Behind us is Gasly, he's broken the DRS and there is the rain. The rain has arrived. The rain at 15 minutes marks as we fend off Pierre Gasly and now this is Lando Norris overtaking Lewis Hamilton into the chicane, job done for him and now they're on the fresh mediums, of course they're going to catch us but the rain is coming down and if it comes down hard enough as round the outside it's a great move from Lando Norris gets him on the exit of La Source and now it's going to be Lewis Hamilton's turn in the background to overtake the Alpine but if it rains hard enough we've jumped these two behind us after their stops this could play well into our hands here as Hamilton does get the job done on on Pierre Gasly as we go a bit deep and now Lando Norris is he going to brave it out no he's too far back he's not going to do what he did in the sprint but we have gone wide he's up our inside now we're going to have to defend the inside of Lone no in corner and he may make him back out of it now Lewis Hamilton is he going to go to the inside yes he is up the inside of Puon and he's got the job done as Lewis Hamilton that's a great move as now we head through Lando trying to go back down the inside I think he's too far back has he got the job done I think he might have you know this is Lewis Hamilton all over the back of us Lando's still behind as now Lewis Hamilton getting closer and closer the rain coming down harder and harder now as we go deep at the bus of chicane we push the Mercedes wide Lando Norris is past the Mercedes yet again you can see the rain now is getting heavier and heavier as we go down into the first corner we've gone a bit deep Lando has a bit more grip on his mediums these soft tyres are shot now it's now Lewis Hamilton getting closer and closer through our ridge we go the rain is skating now it is time for the intermediate tyres Lando slipstream this with the DRS overtakes us is Lewis Hamilton going to try and follow him no he's not because we're going to send it back down the inside of Lando Norris we then have the inside line but we've gone off the track and now Lando's trying to go round our outside we've pushed Lando off the track Lewis Hamilton now he's going to go for it up the inside Lando covers it off but we somehow keep fourth place in this race third place in this race Lando all over the back of us as we head through Puon we just need to keep it in the straight line it is time now for the intermediate tyres surely the rain light is on there's water spray coming off the front tyres you can see here now as we head through the second sector we nearly light it up there coming out now onto the back straight the final set to be nearly light up again it is time for the intermediates can Lando have a look at us no he can't he's lost it Lando's in the barrier Lando Norris has wiped himself out the safety car is out of the Grand Prix and that is the most perfectly timed safety car it's time for the Inters those behind are going to have to box as well we are in a net free after all of this the Stappen and George Russell up the road we're in a legitimate P3 if everyone boxes for inters those boxing once again from the softs onto another set of drives as the rain started to fall has been caught out here if it didn't rain hard enough they would have been alright but it's time for the Inters, the safety car is out, can we beat out Lewis Hamilton? Just, we just beat out Lewis Hamilton. 
but what a dramatic lap of racing there between all three of us. This is the replay of Lando Norris has just dropped it all on his own and if there's someone you wouldn't expect to make a mistake in the rain it is Lando Norris this is what it looked like from behind us he just lights up his tyres and skates off into the barrier Lewis Hamilton very lucky to not be collected in the incident as well as now we catch safety car and look at this Sainz and Ocon have caught the safety car and have stayed out on dry tyres they're both on mediums through though the final chicane at the bus stop chicane you can see Ocon boxing in the background but Carlos Sainz has stayed out another lap what a Ferrari doing Ferrari doing Ferrari things now though Sainz goes off into the pits on lap 15 he's gonna be stone dead last just like Al um, Ocon in the Alpine Ferrari and Alpine having an absolute shocker there as lap 16 the race is going to restart the safety car is in at the end of this lap and we from starting stone dead last have the chance to win this race we did it in Portimao last season can we do it here today we tried our best to do it last time out in France it didn't go too well there can we win this Belgian Grand Prix? We go racing once again. We have a great exit off of the bus stop chicane. One down with past George Russell. Next up though is Max Verstappen. It's crucial we get these dropped in quickly. As we go a bit deep, we get the exit though ahead of George Russell because in the wet, in the sprint, we didn't have the pace. So it's crucial if we are going to have a shot at winning, we get these two dropped these two overtakes done as quickly as possible as now we get closer and closer to the back of Max Verstappen we're gonna go to the inside and take the lead of the Belgian Grand Prix George Russell goes round the outside of Max Verstappen he's lost two places there in the space of one corner and Max Verstappen who hasn't won a race in forever in this career mode he finds himself P3, the rain though is getting heavier and heavier and we were just keeping the gap as Mark saying it may be time for the full wet tyres and he wasn't wrong at lap 20 this is Carlos Sainz in what has been a horrible day for him he's gone from near enough a podium to last to out of the Grand Prix the final lap though here we are of the Belgian Grand Prix we're skating we've been caught by those behind if this race was any longer I would definitely consider the four wet tyres it is soaking now you can see the spray is now we head up to Blanchemont for the final time George Russell I think is too far back here to do anything we're going though after an absolute shocker in Silverstone when we retired we've had back-to-back -back non scores but to finish off the first round of first half of the season we get back to winning ways here in Belgium it wasn't always plain sailing today but a very important win nonetheless what do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today.
last to first challenge complete we've done it again just like we did in Portimao we win the Belgian Grand Prix and that was desperately desperately needed after the last two races both being non-scores bit lucky with the safety car it couldn't have been any more perfectly timed from the safety car coming out with Lando's crash and it being the crossover point to the intermediates George Russell is P2 P3 is Max Verstappen P4 for Lewis Hamilton after back-to-back -back wins at Silverstone and Paul Ricard our teammate Piastri only picking up one point in p10 shocking weekend for him so down at the back then lando norris your one retirement of the day with that big crash all on his own if there's one driver you wouldn't expect to make a mistake in the wet it is lando norris carlos science also your other retirement but he is classified this is the world championship then of 42 points the gap we've managed to pull it back out after taking two big blows we've managed to get some points on the board so far this first half of the season every time we've seen finishing the points we've won so if we can keep that stat up i'll be very happy 42 points now the gap 62 back to george russell it's looking unlikely he's going to challenge us once again for the title oscar piastri down in p9 in the championship down at the back i know i say this every every episode but there's still three drivers still yet to score being both houses and logan Sargent. so in the constructors then after today's result mercedes do take the lead of the constructors world championships after making it level last time out in paul ricard in france and just after canada we had such a big lead in the constructors three races later we find ourselves nine points behind it's not what we want i think it's time we need to go for the constructors that's the thing i want the most this season will it happen he actually needs to sort his stuff out otherwise we may struggle all on our own essentially fighting both mercedes a bit like back in season two when we had aaron barnes after yuki Tsunoda left us halfway through the season but that's been the belgian grand prix and the first half of the season i hope you enjoyed it we head though into the second half of the season where we go to zanvoort with a 42 point lead and we'll be looking to add to that when we head to the beach goodbye